Dude, this is what would have happened if WoW was having a proximity chat. It would have been super fun, man. I'm gonna watch a video by Rav the Avatar. He is a legend. He is a legend in a League of Legends space. He became a legend in the WoW space as well, in the era of hardcore. So I'm gonna watch his experience with Cataclysm, avenging Azeroth. Throw your ones in the chat if you're ready. Throw your ones in the chat if you're ready. Let's get it, boys. Let's see what he has to say. And let's see if I agree with it. I might not agree with it. Coupe, what is this two, man? What is it? Did I just say to throw two is in the chat? Oh, what the fuck is this chair doing here, man? Gamers, long ago, a young dwarf looking for an escape from a toxic League of Legends addiction spawned into Azeroth where he would fight through the most hardcore of endeavors. He challenged the deadliest mobs to butt naked Makgoras and together with his loyal pig, they conquered elements that others feared. It was a beautiful journey, not gonna lie. So I enjoy, really enjoy the recap right now. Driven to avenge the deaths of his people, he was forced to overcome his own where he would abuse his streamer privileges to return as a <laughs> hero to his throne and deliver retribution on the mobs with the bullshit hitboxes that tried to end his journey. He then served the Alliance in a fiery war against Ragnaros, where he would retire a hero. Time passed, and Rav the Avatar lived a simpler life fishing in the local vales and hitting on Elwyn hotties at Goldshire <laughs> Pub. But one night, that could all change. In a cataclysmic event, a douche canoe dragon named Deathwing took a molten piss over the lands he knew and loved. He visited his past, seeing the molten cities were piss. destroyed, and the old flourishing harbors were left looking like Dubai. He what? studied the ways of archaeology. Like Dubai? I, I feel like this is not a good comparison. ...in hopes of reconstructing what was lost surveying the lands and collecting fossils of the world he grew up in. But in these perilous times, he knew deep down that it was now his duty to avenge all of Azeroth. Let's go, Rob! Avenge the Azeroth! Okay, so my mission to avenge Azeroth starts with a request from my homeboy, the king who is like dog. I need to call in a celeb shot to handle some rumors overseas about a war breaking out. So I head over to the harbor where me and a wow is back. Amount of people are. Dude, why everyone is going to Vashir? Guys, can you agree that Vashir is just the, the worst zone ever? No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, it's beautiful. I, I think it's unique, but I just don't like being underwater. The best one is, shut the fuck up, Mr. Lemon, shut the fuck up, okay? ...are lined up to serve. Our carnival cruise arrives and I'm pumped, but Howard is all like bra and not getting on that thing. Have you seen Titanic? And so I have to tell him we will hang with the captain and he can ask him any questions he wants to calm his nerves. But history is set to repeat itself as Howard is all knowing as this particular river casino runs into a little Bermuda Triangle action which has people panicking and jumping ship as this is starting to look like a scene out of the second Pirates of the Caribbean movie as our warship is now a chew toy for Polly Wally Octopus over here. To make matters worse me pre-gaming this with 4 Rhapsody malts wasn't optimal so I pass out only to learn that they've set up some civilization down here and some Davy Jones looking dude is running a business installing gills on people. <laughs> He tells me if I can fend off enough sweaty Coldridge midgets to collect some starfish he will turn me amphibious AF and with that I was now Rad the Aqua Avatar. <laughs> the fact that this dude is able to turn just questing to an entertaining video, it's amazing, you know? That guy is gifted. That said, it's 2024, and if you want to be a public figure even 60 meters underwater, you need to constantly worry about your image. So my PR team is like, you need to save some drowning soldiers for that good publicity. But the only problem with this plan was that if there was a graph of people who needed saved from drowning and people who wanted to say they saved a drowning person, the ratio would be f So I did what any good leader does. I set up a pyramid scheme to do my good deeds for me and with the world thinking I'm a savior. I was ready to fight in the war. 
until I got knocked in round one by some lispy slither tits who just couldn't wait to show me off to his lady only for me to have to be bailed out a second time before that rhapsody malt buzz wore off and I vowed to take this more seriously. I learned to become one with the wildlife down here, nurturing them and tending to their every need. I even studied to get my license as an underwater uber with the hopes of making my new submerged situation feel slightly less shitty. This world was now my oyster and the oysters in my world seemed to have clamped down on none other than Captain Samir. Howard had some choice words for him but we freed him and got his posse back to dry land to which his first request was for me to fetch him a keg. I told him that coming off of a bender myself I dunno if that's a good idea but I could tell by the look in his face that he could give two shits right about now so I did as asked and we celebrated. This is roughly where I ended my journey. Days later I ran into some Jamaican of the Thrall Simp faction who in exchange for petting Howard agreed to tell me why that Naga was so pissed off at me. I learned that these Naga joined forces with some Twilight cultist clan of low parsing pigs who were in bed with Deathwing and they were the boots on the ground. He said speak to any crabsman gold to see just how grim it's become. I will not be a tool of the Naga. I will resist as long as I can, but I can't last forever. Please someone, stop them. And I started noticing I myself that, that I couldn't even voice. do my own errands without one of these weaponized lizards trying to piss on my parade. There's a whole backstory of how I committed to some RPing cosplay that I'm not proud of to learn more about where these Deathwing Twilight twats can be found but once I got what I needed it was like Naga, more like Naga stay in this zone for a second longer than I needed to as people were starting to get weird down here. You like Krabby Patties don't you Squidward? So the second I saw my chance to get out. Let's go! Let's get out! I desk popped so many SOS's in the sky you'd think it was a 4th of July fireworks display until they sent me some sus carbon fiber looking rescue boat that I just hoped wasn't being controlled by a PlayStation controller and with that my journey in Bash Gear was over. Yes! I returned home one step closer Finally that shitty zone is old. Finding Deathwing and my next steps would either be to visit the dragon's hometown of Deep Home or to deal with the shit going on in High Jaw. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's fine. So I chose Deep Home where I would put my aversion to Orgrimmar aside and share my super secret and tell on about the Twilight Cult as a way to- By the way, this zone right here, this scenery is just amazing. It's just beautiful. Like, the Maelstrom is just gorgeous. Learn his respect. Behold, what? Our hero. Oh, I understand now why there are so many skeletons there. There is a bug. Had made it to the great dimensional anus, connecting the two worlds. The world of Azeroth that we all know and love, and the world of Deep Home, where Deathwing was clearly weaned off the tit milk a little too early in life. For thousands of years, this Azerothian orifice remained plugged to keep the dangers of Deep Home out. But during the Cataclysm, it was blown wide open and Rav's next mission would now be to reinstall this world peacekeeping butt plug to restore balance between the worlds. Okay, I don't care what the haters say Deep Home is dank and my time here was like a damn vacation, but there was a job to do and that started on the Alliance scout ship that we had deployed. You see it was overrun with twilight twerps and I was gonna do everything in my power to get one Where is that wink? As an avatar I knew to play it cool, approach the enemy slowly, with confidence and they will- I'm fast as fuck, boy! <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast- Dude, this is what would have happened if WoW was having a proximity chat. It would have been super fun, man! Fast I really am! You see what happens when you bum rush in rather than being methodical in your negotiations? The proper way was to execute the griffin drag and grab over a zeppelin propeller strategy to perfection and this two-headed diabetic told us that the peacekeeping butt plug shattered into three pieces. I'd have to deploy stealth ops missions to learn where they were. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? But the only thing I learned was that gnomes and anyone who plays them have zero riz. You've got the ick! Congratulations! Turns out all I had to do was drop a bunch of cool Is aid and spare hands? ribs in the snow to lure one of the kid dragons and that clearly hasn't been taught about stranger oh, no. danger and hope that daddy would come to the rescue. Only to learn that it was all a setup and that Rav the Avatar <laughs> is the master of bait, the <laughs> master baiter. 
and after a round of shotgun ammo we had recovered the top of the butt plug. The top of the butt plug. A clan of dwarfs held the second but they were busy dealing with a trogue problem, a tale as old as time. So I offered to show off my new cataclysm burst rotation before heading to the kingpin of trogs who was holding some dude's dad captive or something. We had an emotional family reunion and my deeds were rewarded with the middle of the butt plug. Let's go! The third piece was tricky because it was held by some locals of Deep Home who weren't happy we were there and so I tried to extend an olive branch and ask if maybe we could all break the ice over a round of top golf. Your only welcome here shall be found underneath my stone foot. Dude, the amount of effort that was put in this video is just... Out of this world, man. But he wasn't having it and I had to be the bearer of bad news. It turns yeah, out the thing that got them to cooperate was for me to arrange a meet and greet with Deep Home Lizzo as they apparently were long time fans and seeing as I got her to pretend to be excited about talking with them, we were all on the same page. They gave us the bottom of the butt plug. The bottom of and the And together butt with plug. Deep Home Lizzo we all schemed a way to reinsert it between the worlds. It was going to plan until some sexy Lexi of Twilight Descent I guess has a very strong opinion against butt plugs and a battle broke out. Our plan was starting to fall apart as we were losing the fight until we got help from a few new friends. <laughs> and with that, the eternal butt plug was restored, and we were one step closer to Deathwing. Let's it was go. worth noting a few things in my own personal life that happened at this point. I learned the ways of the Cobra as a hunter which would come in handy during my battles. But I also learned about the power of transmogrification, a new way to dress up in old clothes so that you can mix and match outfits or rock badass looking sets and I was gunning to use this ability to put me on the cover of Vogue. Behold, Let's go. Rav the Avatar in all his glory. Anyways back at Stormwind I had business with the prince. If you remember Anduin was the little boy whose stepmom turned out to be a dragon and everyone involved has some PTSD from it? Well I vowed to take him under my wing and help when he has concerns and so when I got his summons that some people in Stormwind were acting sus I said we'd get to the bottom of it. We talked to workers and no one said shit but my boy Anduin was freaking onto something when it all revealed that someone was gunning for all of Stormwind to be blown up and the dude was hiding in plain sight. I was Fucking like bro someone has already shit. pulled this disguise trick in this exact room and to try something more original maybe as we killed him off for treason and found a picture of his land that no one recognized but I knew just the guy. And between those two and those mountains, very very distinct mountains, things like this just become second nature. Just one of those guesses. Nice. I arrived first hand to see the chaotic zone, overridden by evil. I ran into relatives with the same ginger based genetics as me and helped them recover from the twilight's attacks. I trained their men in preparation job, for a man. war, knowing that the enemies they were going to encounter were not your typical Cold Ridge Valley trogs. But with news of us readying for a war, their leaders sent us what looked like a shitty high school rap lip sync along. They did this, but they didn't found bombs. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe he read the quest and read their bombs somewhere, and maybe he set up that scene offline. I don't know. I would imagine that he would do something like that for a video. Dude, the dude is just questing. And it, it he just tells a story because of the fact that he's questing. It, uh, it's so beautiful. Dance type TikTok, but what they didn't realize was that their own threats had revealed the location of their clan. And now the hardcore avatar knew exactly where they could be found. And so with our brave hero discovering the hideout of the greatest threat to Azeroth in its history, he prepared to battle the threats head on without knowing that on the other side of this portal. It's not gonna let him. It's not gonna let him because he's too, too low. He would be immersed in a year long adventure full of new deadly dungeons for him to acquire armor and reputation intense new lands to battle with the horde over oh, a guild actively recruiting more of you the people to fight by the way i don't know about his guild but i have a guild that is casual friendly it's not sweating like his right now in heroics and stuff like that so just saying just saying you can you can play wow in a chill way or you can sweat your ass off what do you prefer
fight by his side to avenge Azeroth and a chain of dangerous encounters with Twilight Commanders that would ultimately lead him to the source of all this chaos. The final battle with Deathwing himself. Oh, it's yet to come, man. I uh, leave a like, leave a like instantly. Good job, man. But you know, let's get back to wow. Can I level up 84 today, by the way?